Hi there. If at the end of this video, you think there's something wrong with me, I'm not sure I could argue that. Let me explain. This is a, uh, a Melita gift set, and I was sent a link to this by some lovely people at the Dog and Hat Copy Subscription Company. They're a UK copy subscription. I'll leave a, a link in the description. And they sent me a link to this on eBay, and I looked at it and I was like, those cups are pretty cool. That's kind of cool. It's from the 70s. And then I saw one more thing. I saw the contents of the box. This set contains one plastic filter, size one by four, one heat resistant glass jug, one and a half pints in size, two heat resistant drink cups, that's a weird word for a cup, one packet of filter bags, 40, and then one packet of filter fine coffee, 125 grams, a coffee measure, and instructions for use. This is not only a super retro set, the coffee in this set is from the 70s. And I know what you're thinking, because it's what I'm thinking. How, how bad is that? What would it be like to make it according to the instructions from when this came out? There's really nothing else to do. I'm gonna have to open this set up, and I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. I'll be honest, not only the amount of polystyrene, but, but, but several things about this feel wrong. I feel like I've broken into a museum exhibit that this should never be used, but it, it has to be used. So, oh yeah, these are our drink ups. Drink up? Who knows? I've got two of those. A lovely little coffee scoop. You know how I feel about scoops. It is heat resistant. We've got the, the Melita Cone plastic, heat resistant plastic. We have our original filter coffee papers. I have to open them up, I have to know. I mean, that, that looks like a filter paper. It smells like old library books. That is amazing. Oh, who knew you could get nostalgia from a filter paper. That's, that's wonderful. Six grams per cup of coffee. It should be ground filter fine, almost like flour. I'm not hopeful right now, but, but let's do it. Okay. And then most excitingly of all, <laughs> filter fine, pure Melita coffee. Now I don't know how this was packed, I'm guessing it doesn't have a roast day on it. Again, I feel like I'm desecrating some sort of thing. Oh, this is good news for my potential well-being. That is that is vacuum sealed. Now, because it's vacuum sealed, then I should be safe to drink this. It won't be good. I'm a little bit terrified right now. Okay, the sensible thing to do would be uh, to do their, their instructions. I will do as they say to do. I will use the scoop but we'll also measure as we go as well, because I kind of want to know what their recipe was. But more than anything else, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reset this area by giving all of this a good, a good wash, because I don't think it's had a wash in over 40 years. Everything is now fresh and clean and, and safe, I think. This must be exciting. They've laid dormant for 40 years more. Finally, their time has come to shine. Let's... Let's crack this open. If it's moldy, it's not happening. Your first taste of oxygen in some time? Wow, that's fine. Doesn't smell of that much. Thought it would smell worse. More than anything in the world, I want to rinse this filter paper, but the instructions clearly say, insert a dry filter paper into the cone as such. Now. Let's just see how accurate their technique is. So it says one scoop per cup. Let's do two cups. Should be six grams apparently. 5.3, 6.4, and a little bit more. Let's go for 12. Let's just do what you said. So 12 grams of very fine coffee. Let's tear off the scale. Now I'm supposed to pour water just to cover the coffee and then let it steep for half a minute Blooming is not new. They knew about this back in the day. So we're gonna do that. Let's just cover you with a little water. Oh, you're resistant to water. All right, that's about a 70 gram bloom. 
not going to touch it. And then I'm supposed to pour up to the, the two cup line, which is what I will do. Let's see if they knew what they were doing back in the day. This is like mud. There we go. And that's the two cup line, which is 293 grams. Might have been a bit less if I was a bit quicker on that one. I mean, that is really fine. That is finely ground coffee. Let's clean up. It's a little slow to drip through. Got to say, I am extremely into this. I think I think this is awesome. The little red plastic handle just absolutely does it for me. It doesn't smell good. It doesn't smell appetizing in any way. It's going to be a little bit hot, but I can't wait. I can't wait anymore. Okay, it's hard to talk about. I'm really quite glad this is hot, so that I can't I can't really taste that much. Because what I can taste, it's not good. It's not good at all. There is a slightly rotten quality to this. I don't I don't know quite how else to describe it. There's the woodiness. There's the bitterness. There's the dark roasty kind of harshness. There's unquestionably over extraction on this. This stuff is like flour in terms of grind size. There was no way this was going to taste good. But there's definitely something unsettling a part of my body. The little flags are being waved at me right now saying, I'm not sure this is safe to consume. He says, going in again. It's not good. I mean, I am so into these though. I mean, how much do you want one of those in your life? That's pretty great. And this is pretty great. I have no intention of, uh, Letting go of these anytime soon. Fetid. That is not good or pleasant or kind to the face. It's got bad hotel coffee qualities. And you know what I'm talking about if you stayed in any hotel ever and drunk the coffee. It, it is that, that taste, that lack of quality, characteristic, anything else. Okay, I'll tell you what it smells like. It smells like if someone had taken a book in the 70s and spilled an entire cup of coffee onto the book, and they closed the book and then left it in a secondhand bookshop for 40 years. That's what it smells like. And an ashtray. That's what's coming there. There it is. Like, it's just, there's definitely kind of cigarette ash in there as well. And, you know, for some people that might be powerfully nostalgic. It's just gross to me. All right. All right, that's it. I keep drinking it. I keep drinking it. What is wrong with me? I'm gonna say thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.